Insecure, ready like the Romeo review. Yeah, we ain't did one of these in a while and whatnot, right? Yeah, I wanted to get this in because y'all know the Romeo review. That's that joint where we talk about insecure, but from the male point of view and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Now check it out, right? Like we couldn't do that in the past weeks. It was all about the women and stuff. And you know, I ain't really want to talk about Daniel. Daniel kind of disappointed me, but you know, Lawrence back in. So, you know, Issa asked, asked him, she was like, well, so what you been doing? Dude been getting it in. Dude been getting it in. And apparently he don't like to do anything on his bed, but he been getting it in on his couch. I was like, go ahead, dude. And these women choosing hard, man. They just giving him a look. He, I was like, dang, dude. He, he, just look, he just looking back and smiling, man. But yo, my man Chad, though, man. Chad, you got caught. Now see, somebody sold you out, man. For real, somebody, somebody sold you out. One of them ain't your boys, man. Cause how your woman gonna find out, man? Damn, man, that, that was, you was raggedy with that, bro. You was raggedy, ain't so much you did it, but you got caught. Cause remember, this is the Romeo review. So, you know, we just, this, this straight player right here, you got caught, man. See, you ain't know, see, you ain't supposed to be caught, man. And that's the problem, man. Dang, Chad, mm. you still feeling it and whatnot, man. And then uh, you got that Asian dude, man. You got that Asian nigga and shit trying to like get in on uh, which call it? Trying to get in on Molly. Trying to get that chocolate in, man. I was like, you know, he kind of thorough and stuff, man. You know, he probably one of those dudes and stuff. Parents probably Korean. Probably his parents probably had uh, a little shop or something in the hood. He grew up around the hood dudes and stuff. He just like it though, man, because that dude was thorough. He he told Molly he want to take her out. He ain't even ask her, man. That was some player stuff. He ain't even ask her. He just told her what's up. I was like, man, my boy, you cool like that though, man. You cool. Like if you can play a player like that, hey man, you one of the fellas and whatnot, man. I was like, yeah. And then, you know, Lawrence, Chad, Derek, they gonna meet at the uh, club and whatnot, what a bar and whatnot. And Chad, you know Chad's, I mean, he trying to play it off though, you fellas. Y'all know, you know, you feeling bad, a woman roll from you, you gotta play it off from the fellas, you gotta keep cold, you gotta be on cold with that, you can't say, oh, she left, you gotta be like, nah, man, she had some problems and whatnot. You ain't gonna say like, hey, you just got busted. Lawrence was calling him on it, right? But see, Chad was being a little raggedy too, talking about that committee and whatnot, man. It's like, damn, dude. But Chad did tell him, man, you don't need to call him and whatnot. But, you know, Chad's kind of scuzzy. That's why I like him. Man, it's a trip. And then, you know, they're going to... Oh, I forgot all about Nathan, man. Man, Nathan on some straight player stuff. He on some... I don't even think he got a home. He, he like that dude Tommy from Martin. Rest in peace, bro. He like that dude. You don't, I don't think he got a job because he a little too perfect with uh, Issa. That's how you know he got some game. He telling, I mean, he running that shit perfect, man. That, that, that's like textbook, that's like textbook kind of gigolo, gigolo style game and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? A whole boat, you know, usually what he run is low level though. He probably just need a place to sleep. He probably got some other women or something. But he he got he, he shady though. He shady, but this the Romeo review, so we don't care. We praising the shadiness. Shoot, he getting, I mean, he got a place to sleep with her, then he probably go over to his other woman, his other woman, he probably got three other women or something like that, right? You know, they getting in, all enamored with his eyes, but if you got light eyes and stuff, you got those looks or those eyes or some women go crazy over, shit, you got to use it. You got to use it, right? And then, you know what, we get to the baby shower. You know, I felt for those brothers who were there, man. They didn't really want to be there. They just there with their women and whatnot. So they sitting, they sitting in the back chilling and stuff, looking all mean and stuff. One well, of them looking job, looking like uh, Shaq. Job looking like Sh uh, Shaq and whatnot. I was like, hey, to look at it twice. I said, nah, he too short. You know, big homie grit eating dude and stuff, man. You know his woman dragged him there. He probably didn't want to come. He probably said, nah, they're going to they gonna have some food. But they bougie and shit, so they probably had some finger sandwiches and stuff. They ain't had no ribs and chicken and shit. But that's that's okay. That's okay. And then my man Dro is there. Big value, I'll be sure. Big tall-ass motherfucker. Big tall-ass mo. 
Them DC people know what I mean. Big tall ass mowing shit, man. Man, Molly approached his ass. Man, he straight carried her. He, he straight carried her. Man, I was like, dang. Dude was cold blood. He kept it straight play. He ain't try to play it off like how you doing and stuff. He would just say, hey, I gave you a boundary. He just in his phone like this and just he's, he's like, it's gonna be like that. He's like, yeah. She walked off, dude, just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I was like, hey! And then you know Dro player, because he had his other woman there. He had his other woman. And then, you know, throughout, you know, throughout it, man, Nathan, man. She, I'm tell you that dude, that dude on some shady shit. But this is Romeo review, so you know we like that. I'm like, man, what the? F mm. That I mean, I was just like, dang, and he's suppressed. And then that dude gonna be like, oh, I really like you, and then disappear. I'm like, dang, dude, how you get away with that weak ass game? And Issa, Issa should have been through enough dudes to figure out, like, hold up, hold up, this dude running something on me. But nah, she, she caught up in those eyes. I'm telling you, hey dude, hey, fellas. All y'all be thinking women don't be getting caught up in looks and shit. She, she, she. Dang, man. Shoot. Man, I'm telling you though, but it should be interesting though, man. It should be interesting. All right, see how it go from here. See what Lawrence going to do. I mean, he done cleared up his shit. And see, he just got to get the right type of condom and whatnot, right? He just got to get the right type of condom. Dro, Dro is Dro. Dro straight cold-blooded. I mean, if you think about how he, he talked to Molly. This is this is homegirl from, like, young. You sh that's some cold player stuff. How you do that? Romeo couldn't even do that. I had to be like, baby, it just didn't work out. But see, Romeo kind of smooth like that. Dro was just straight cold. You know, he, he knew that, he, that tall, light-skinned brother, they, they never went out of style. So he was like, shit, let me just chill out with it, bitch. All right, tell her what's up. Dang, damn, what else happened with any men? I don't know, but you know what? Yeah, I'm proud to see uh, Lawrence is progressing because he's a fat-ass motherfucker. Especially that middle one that was uh, from the gym. Good Lord. She actually looked like somebody had dated before. Shit, let me find out. God, dude, I know some women mad about that, but I know a bunch of dudes, they like, yeah, dude, get it in. Me, I get it in on the king size, though, but that's just me. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, you know I had to give y'all at least one Romeo review. We'll see what's up, because I think Nathan going to ghost her. I think he going to ghost her. I mean, I'm like, you ever be, like, looking at the screen, you both have admiration of the dude's work, but you know he's straight playing and you like, dang, man. Maybe she has some women to talk to when she's growing up, give her some game. <laughs> anyway, man, let me look at this joint. Oh, shit, where am I at? You know I'm controlling it with this joint right here, right? Yeah. But well, anyway, man, that's the Romeo review of Insecure. I'll get back with you maybe next week, depending on what happened, though, you know? If I don't see no player stuff in it, man, I ain't gonna mess with it, alright? Anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Yeah, I'm out.